The aspects of regenerative medicine that are particularly exciting is the concept that we can either rewind the clock or potentially improve outcomes that are otherwise quite challenged because of natural processes of aging and living. The future when it comes to biologics and regenerative medicine in my mind is to induce a whole new field of non-surgical treatment that we didn't have access to before that can prolong the need or maybe even prevent the need for joint replacement as well as improving our outcomes in the operating room. That's where regenerative medicine will shine. For patients, I believe it will make a meaningful difference. For example, rotator cuff healing. We have failure rates after repairing rotator cuffs that in some series exceed 75% based on the quality of the tissue. If we can enhance the quality of repaired tissue when stem cells or growth factors are used intraoperatively, we can clearly change the natural history of disease. For me, in the next 10 to 15 years of my career, this is what we're gonna be spending most of our time doing because this is where we have the most potential. It's the first time in 5,000 years of recorded spinal cord injuries that we actually have hope of treating and curing spinal cord injury. What we do then in our research is remove the back portion of the spine and inject stem cells into the area of the injury so that those stem cells can grow, regenerate, and make new connections. We had a patient who had been paralyzed 35 years before our treatment. We did a transplantation into her spinal cord, and over the course of the year, she progressed to the point where she did not need crutches. So we know that this is possible. It's now just a question of figuring it out exactly what we have to do to be able to do this routinely. We are embarking upon our third transplantation study. This is the first one in the cervical spine. So if we get any kind of positive results, it is going to put Rush on the forefront of spinal cord transplantation research in the world.